What's good? It's Sam. I'm back at it again. And I wanted to talk about what I am currently researching with. Um, <clears throat> I know I did an update about a week ago, and I have more updates because my research has changed. Now, before I get into that, make sure you press that like button. And on Facebook, jump over to my page and just, just press that like button or follow button on Facebook so that you can get updates uh, as I publish more content. Um, Facebook is getting to the content creation um, realm and uh, they have something similar to YouTube just on, at a very elementary level right now. So they're going to continue to grow that. So I will continue to publish on Facebook. On YouTube, make sure you press that subscribe button. Now, with that being said, thank you for watching. And last week, um, about two weeks ago, I actually stopped doing my doctor prescribed testosterone at 250 milligrams per week. And um, the intention was to use clomiphene for research purposes only. So, obviously, um, I'm not advocating anybody else do stupid shit. Um, I'm not advocating that you do anything that I do. Um, all the stuff that I talk about is just for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a doctor, nor do I pretend to really have any understanding what the fuck I'm doing. Okay. With that being said, uh, don't do anything I do. <clears throat> Clomiphene at about, um, I think I had mentioned probably 15 milligrams, but I was, I, I only actually undertook, a, took it once at 30 milligrams. Um, I would probably take it again tomorrow morning. And the interesting thing that I noticed about stopping the testosterone and this week, so this week, um, I was doing research with, uh, RAD 140, 20 milligrams per day, no 30 milligrams per day and Osterine at 20 milligrams and MK677 at 20 milligrams. That's a security guy. The, um, and I'm going to touch on each one of those. Okay. So testosterone was stopped. Oh, and clomiphene, right? So we had RAD140, Osterine, MK677, and clomiphene uh, because the testosterone stopped. Now, the interesting thing that I noticed first, we're going to talk about the testosterone. Remember, this is doc, all doctor prescribed um, or, and doctor supervised. The testosterone stopped. With that stopping, I thought I would actually see a decrease in libido, um, and I actually saw an increase. I was actually more horny this week than I had been on 250 for most of the week. So I thought that was kind of interesting, um, and I'm not sure what caused that, unless it was the combo of adding in, because I actually don't remember if I was on uh, if I was researching with RID prior to a week ago, I don't think I was. So p potentially it was the combination of the RID 140 and the Osterine, um, which had some type of effect on libido. I'm not exactly sure. If you have any thoughts on that or experience, let me know down below in the comments. Um, by the way, if you're going to ask any detailed questions about um, your own research, uh, it's probably better to actually reach out to me on Instagram. Um because I have to be, I feel like I have to be more ambiguous in the comment section on Facebook and on YouTube just because of the platform and censorship. Um, so if you have any detailed questions about your own research, uh, reach out to me on Instagram. Link will be up above if you're on Facebook or down below in the description if you're on YouTube. And, um, and then I can answer your questions there. Um, shoot me a DM on Instagram. Say, what's up? Uh, but now with that being said, so... The Osterine um, and the RAT and the Clomiphene. I only did uh, one uh, dosage of the Clomiphene at 30 milligrams. So the, Oster the Osterine is all that I'm doing right now. I actually stopped uh, the RAT 140. And from this point for the next week or so until I decide to do another update video because shit's changed again. Um, I'm going to probably do one additional dosage of the clomiphene at 30 milligrams tomorrow morning and then 20 ish. I'll probably just continue with 20 milligrams of Osterine for myself, right? I believe I also, I also haven't weighed myself in probably five months now since October. Um, I just don't necessarily see a point in it, but Back in October, I was around 230 pounds. I'm probably still in the neighborhood of 230 pounds. So if 
at the at the 20 milligrams for osterin, I feel as though there's just a, a just a tiny marginal gain um, with that that I can feel whether that's the pumps or just a little bit fullerness in, in like the muscle belly um, when I'm working out. It has a just a like a slightly almost like. You have a uh, full, you just had a uh, carb meal, you know what I mean, in the last 12 hours or so, and you have gly glycogen stores that are full, and that's how I feel I can get just the little bit of that, not completely full glycogen stores in your muscles, but a little bit of that um, with uh, 20 milligrams. So, but I also feel like there's, not that I've really ever had any um, adverse side effects, but I feel as though that's just a, for me, right, like, an, I, and don't, I'm not advising anybody do stupid shit, right, or anybody do anything that I do, um, but for me, I feel like a 20 milligram uh, dosage daily uh, for Osterin is just very sustainable with virtually none, no side effects whatsoever, um, so that I will be continuing for the time being, and um, the MK677, um, my research, uh, I will be doing, continuing with that five days, right? So five days on, two days off, five, two, um, 20 uh, milligrams per day. Uh, for my research, I'm doing 10 in the morning and 10 in the evening, uh, just my personal preference. Um, I feel that breaking up the dosage, I, it's just, I don't have uh, any data behind that, but um, I think when I remember looking it up, the half-life was around 24 hours or something along those lines. And I would prefer to have a split dosage on it. It's probably way more psychological than anything else. Um, but I haven't tested it to know uh, how much more effective it is. Um, just to, based on uh, other people's thoughts, um, you, can, you could research it with it in a number of different ways. So... Uh, going forward, it, with that, that may actually be fairly static for a time period. I'm looking at the calendar. It's March 14th. So there's potential I could actually stay with a certain compound uh, for a number of weeks, potentially until the end of the month. Uh, I will keep posting update videos as my research changes over time. Um, but... That is what I will currently be uh, researching with. I'm also thinking about doing some more research with Milanotan uh, too. So make sure you press that thumbs up button if you want to see some of that. Uh, if um, as the weather gets warmer out, I, th I was thinking about trying to uh, do some more research with that. And then if I do, I will let you guys know. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to, if you have specific questions, use Instagram um, to ask me specific questions. If it's more generic or general. Leave them wherever you see it. I hope you have an awesome night. Peace.